SpongeBob's Christmas Wish. SpongeBob crept quietly to the door of Sandy's tree dome. <laughs> I'm going to get that Sandy for a simple sneaky karate move. He, SpongeBob said. Said SpongeBob. He peeked through Sandy's window just as she was about to plug in her Christmas lights. As soon the tree lit up, SpongeBob shouted, "Fire! Fire! Don't worry, Sandy. I'm coming." With that, he burst through the door and poured a bucket of water on her head. What in the name of Elmo is wrong with you, SpongeBob? she asked. I guess there is no fire, he replied sheepishly. Have you ever seen a Christmas tree? asked Sandy. Christmas Hill? said SpongeBob asked. Is she a friend from Texas? So Sandy sat down and told SpongeBob all about her favorite holiday. She told him about the toy making elves and flying reindeer, about baking cookies and hitting stockings, and best of all, she told him about Santa Claus. SpongeBob ran to the crusty crab to tell his friends about Christmas, and everyone pretends to like fruitcake. SpongeBob reported, but the best part is that you can run around to this guy, Santa Claus. You just tell him, tell him what you want, and he brings it to you. I don't know about your lovers, said Mr. Krabs, but any fellow who just gave me the right for your stuff is a friend of mine. That's the spirit, cried SpongeBob. Here's some paper you can get started on your letters. We went. Rolled his eyes. I can't believe anybody would celebrate a holiday where a jolly cousin breaks into your house and leaves gifts. Come on, Squidward, when a letter, begged SpongeBob. Squidward took his head. Grow up, will ya? No one's going to give me a gift because I just. because I wrote him a stupid letter. Patrick was trying to write his letter, but the paper kept ripping in half. SpongeBob showed him how to do it. Dear Santa, SpongeBob wrote as he began his own letter. What do I want for Christmas, you may ask? All I want you is for you to visit down. I want you to visit the gentle up the canyon folk and bikini bottom. That is my wish. Later that day, SpongeBob showed Patrick his invention for sending letters to Santa. See, Santa, you put your letter in the bottle, stick the bottle in the machine, and then you fire in a hole with each other as, as the bottle shot out of the bikini bottle up to, to the surface. Neat, said Patrick. Send mine. What did you wish for? asked Patrick as he loaded Patrick's bottle. Another piece of paper, Patrick said with a sigh. Soon everyone arrived with their wishes tucked into bottles. What did the boy wish? What did you wish for, little girl? asked SpongeBob. One teeth, she replied hopefully. I could use a new hat. I need a new hairstyle. I like a glass of water for my teeth. <laughs> then Squidward pushed through the crowd. What do you wish? SpongeBob asked him. Squidward scowled. My wish is that the people of Bikini Bottom would stop paying attention to the ridiculous devil and stuff that is constantly steaming out in the Thunderhead's mouth. Gee, Squidward, said SpongeBob, smiling. Maybe Santa will bring me and then we so I can understand what you just said. Now, that we have some of Santa Claus, SpongeBob announced, we must be ready for a sub survival. Everyone cheered. When SpongeBob realized Squidward had not run sent a letter, he rushed over to help him. I am not a, I am not writing a letter to the segment of the reservation, SpongeBob yells at Squidward. SpongeBob opened his eyes very wide. But Squidward, when Santa comes, you'll be the only one without a gift. 
How many times do I have to say it? I don't believe in Santa Claus! Squidward shouted. That night, everyone but Squidward stayed up all night waiting for Santa to arrive. Morning came, but Santa didn't. Hey, where's Santa? asked a little fish. Uh, he should be here any minute, said a very tired SpongeBob. Thanks for the light, Mr. Fairy Tail, said a big fish. One by one, they all left SpongeBob standing alone. Where's your Christmas spirit? SpongeBob shouted after them. He's from. Running late? Yeah, probably just some for a sandwich, said Patrick, trying to help. When Squidward woke up the morning, he looked out his window. He didn't see a single sign of Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, Squid said Squidward as he danced to the SpongeBob laughing. Yeah, they're right. This is a stupid holiday. Put SpongeBob sticking his hand head in the sand, but I still want you to have this. SpongeBob had a Squidward a new pair of Dutch gift box box. I made it for you so you won't be feel left out when Santa came. SpongeBob said, SpongeBob, this I fell enough for tears. Gee, I, um, I don't know what to say, said Squidward. You're welcome, SpongeBob replied as he cried all the way home. It's probably a Johnny Fish nut, or an old Krabby Patty, or his very underpants, said Squidward as he unmarked the present. When he opened the box, he found a clarinet made out of drifting wood with his plane and stuck plugged into it. Squidward pushed the button, and three little Squidwards popped out and played music. Wow, I feel horrible. What have I done to poor SpongeBob? Squidward looked. Out the window and saw Spongebob crying as he took down his Christmas lights. All of a sudden, Squidward had a brilliant idea. Ho, ho, ho! shouted Squidward from his roof. Hello? Who's there? Show yourself. What? Show yourself, said Spongebob as he spun around looking for his own family voice. Up here, you don't. I mean, Merry Christmas, little boy, said Squidward. When Bob looked up to the roof and popped his eyes popped wide open. C could it be? he asked. Yes, it is. I Santa Claus. Ho ho whoops said Squidward as he tumbled off the roof and landed flat on his nose. SpongeBob was so excited that he could do run to his uncle screaming Neil All right now, take it easy, said Squidward. I know you make it, cried SpongeBob. Where's your big belly? Squidward had to think. Uh, that's the result of, uh, unnecessary pressure on my body. Where are your reindeer? Asked SpongeBob. Asked. In your flying machine. Squidward had to think fast again. Uh, I know that I'm just an Easter bunny. And what about that big nose? He added, honking Squidward's long nose. I knew you were. Supposed to have a big one, but that's so dang gigantic. All right, said Squidward, annoyed. I'm Santa. SpongeBob hugged him tight. This is the greatest gift you could ever get. Thank me. Thank you. For Thank you for bringing Christmas to Bikini Bottom. Squidward looked into SpongeBob's big. Terry asked and said, I didn't bring Christmas to Bikini Bottom. You did. I did? Asked SpongeBob in disbelief. Just then, a little girl fish walked up to Squidward. Do you have a present for me, Santa? She asked. Uh, just a second, said Squidward. He looked around his house for something to give her and ran back outside with a wrench. Thanks, Santa, she delighted. Look her gift. Huh, said Squidward, shrugging. That almost feel good. When Squidward turned around, everyone in Bikini Bottom was lined up for his own lawn, waiting for a present from Santa. Squidward gave each of them a present from his house, and before he was sick, he had given away everything he owned. What was I thinking? 
Okay, cool. I, I gave all my my all my stuff to so, so, so SpongeBob wouldn't be sad. Am I insane? Just then there was a knock on Squidward's door. You missed him! shouted SpongeBob as Squidward opened the door. He came, he gave all his presents. He was chubby and he had a beard. He was friendly and kind and sunny as his clothes were small, but his clothes was huge with Christmas joy. SpongeBob was a mile a minute. Squidward took SpongeBob around and then pushed him home. Well, at least it's over, said the Squidward with a sigh. He looked down and noticed a letter in the bottom of his doorstep. What's this? He asked, wondering aloud. Dear Squidward, thanks for all your help. You're a very, very good boy this year. Well, regards, Santa. Squidward looked up and caught a, the, the, uh, the real Santa Claus with all of his reindeer flung overhead. Squidward blew in his coming up. Yep, he said, I'm insane. Merry Christmas. The end.